Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody had a great uh, weekend. Hope everybody had a good trading day. Uh, if you are brand new to the channel, uh, please support, right? Support, like, share, uh, all that other good stuff that helps the channel uh, kind of give out our message of independent thinking and unbiased uh, technical analysis. So let's get into uh, the day, right? So Friday, we had a really huge rally, right? I don't think we have to go through it again. If you watch the weekend video, uh, again, a really amazing move considering the engulfing candle that we had from Thursday's session and then the engulfing, engulfing candle we had on Friday, taking out Thursday's uh, all of losses. And the most amazing part about going into this weekend was, well, well, which one was going to prevail, right? You have two back-to-back -back engulfing candles. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's a, it's a rarity. Uh, it's like seeing uh, maybe a UFO too soon, right? Uh, you believe there's UFOs out there? Of course we do. We just have to see them for ourselves. But again, that's another uh, story for another time. So the question was today, was the Bulls able to uh, build on Friday session? And most of the day, uh, the market did absolutely nothing. Most of the day, uh, we saw an inside day, basically didn't take out the previous day's high, didn't take out the previous day's low. And then towards the end of the day, as you can see by uh, the cues, right, everything just started kind of just kind of moving back up towards the end of the day. And if you look at the final numbers, uh, the Dow uh, continues to to push ahead up uh, 100 points, S&P up six and the Nasdaq up 30. But pre predominant action was uh, controlled within the first 30 minutes. And then the market really did nothing till the last, you know, maybe 20 minutes of the day. So a very, very slow session. Uh, after the initial 30, 40 minutes, we'll get to individual pivots in a second. Um, I think a lot of traders after such a very aggressive uh, 24 hours, if you got caught long, if you got caught long on Thursday, or if you got caught short on Friday, uh, a lot of traders are still trying to mentally recover. And again, this business is all about uh, having confidence. It's all about staying upright. It's all about having conviction. And when you have a uh, a back-to-back -back session that engulfs $10 worth of range in the queues in the final hour, it's going to sting. And some traders, uh, it's going to take a little bit of while longer to recover than others. But again, the name of this game is short memory. Whether you had a good, bad, or indifferent day, like I say all the time, it's over. It's in the past. Let it go. Move on. And we moved on today. We identified some pretty good, uh, pretty good pivots. We talked about a couple of pivots on... Uh, on the weekend update, we talked about Netflix uh, for a potential uh, dead cat bounce. We finally got it. We finally got the potential uh, dead cat bounce. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, we talked about a day two on a Roku. Had great earnings on Friday. Had a day two move uh, today. But the focus is for the next couple of days, right? Uh, we continue uh, with earnings season. Today is pretty slow. Uh, I don't. I don't think of any meaningful companies. Tomorrow you have AMD, right? If you look at the option flow uh, for AMD going into tomorrow's session, you'll notice some pretty decent bets. Uh, for the last, you know, for the last few hours, uh, you saw they were coming for uh, the the weekly 120s, the weekly 125s. Pretty decent uh, premium, 100 grand, 200 grand uh, for the September 135s. Uh, for next week's 130s for September 135s, nearly $600,000. So they were definitely making some pretty good bets ahead of earnings. Does that go to translate into a monster beat? It never does, right? People are speculating. Maybe they know something, maybe they don't. But this is just at least the notable option activity. Uh, Apple reports on Thursday. Uh, we saw a lot of the 200 and the 205 weeklies being traded. Uh, also, they went out a little bit further uh, all the way out to October's uh, Amazon that, you know, they continue to kind of push into uh, ahead of earnings. Uh, you know, they're betting again, you know, they're betting, you can see here, they're betting uh, the 133s in the money, the 134s, the 145s uh, into earnings. But we, we really haven't seen that really big monster, uh, really big monster six or seven figure bet 
uh, going into uh, going into earnings. Again, doesn't really mean anything. It's just something uh, to keep an eye on. Uh, one name that is actually correlating uh, for a potential breakout in the next couple of days is AFRM. Uh, AFRM had a really strong session today. Uh, it looks like it wants to start challenging uh, the June highs, and you can see by the option flow, they you know they're they're betting into it, right? You see uh, the weekly 22s, the September 25s, more September 25s, more September 25s, more September 25s, right? You get the picture. So it's very very good when you see uh, short term deep out of the money calls with near term expiration, especially uh, when you are on the eaves or maybe one or two days of a potential breakout. So this is definitely a name uh, we want to watch. Uh, Roku, you know, continues its day two. And again, we'll get to the pivots in a second. Uh, but Roku continued its day two today. And you can see by the options market, you know, they're betting uh, they're betting that it's going to see triple figures. You know, here comes, you know, here towards the late, you know, in, in the early morning, uh, we saw the uh, weekly 105s, the weekly 100s, the weekly 94s, the weekly 100s, uh, the 110s for October. So it looks like, you know, looks like really, really good uh, flow uh, coming into the name as well. Names that had big runs, you know, took a little bit of rest today. Uh, Meta had a really, really great run, especially on earnings. It's just going to go sideways probably for the next uh, day or two. NVIDIA is resting. Again, they're watching for a little bit of guidance from AMD to see uh, what happens next. Uh, Tesla, right? Tesla, you know, we had uh, one of those scenarios on Thursday that Tesla, we were ready for this, you know, potential bottom channel that never came. And if you look at the option flow, and I, and I said this uh, today in the webinar, this is probably the first day that I saw option flow to the upside of Tesla, you know, near term, right? Out of the money near term. You can see here, we saw the 280 weeklies, we saw the 270 weeklies, we saw the 280s. For next week, pretty good premium. Look at the premium, guys. 288, 263, almost $300,000. This bet, this buyer came in uh, in the money for the October uh, 65 calls, uh, wagering $800,000. The key with Tesla, and again, it doesn't necessarily have to happen tomorrow or the next day, but the key for Tesla, we, like we've been saying in the last couple of videos, uh, it has to reclaim back the 10-day moving average. Does that happen uh, tomorrow, does that happen? Uh, you know, never. We know. We don't know. We don't know. But again, we always have to be prepared. Uh, I'm definitely watching to the top of the channel here in the next couple of days, or obviously in the bottom of the channel here. It doesn't make a difference to me which side uh, confirms, but it is notable that we finally did see some uh, deep out of the money short term expiration uh, calls for uh, Tesla. We'll see. We'll have to watch that in the next couple of days. Other than that, uh, no news is good news. Uh, at, you can see. Uh, the flag that's continued to be built on the queues. We talked about this uh, 85 level, how important it is, right? It's getting super duper tight. This is three days in a row now on the queues. It needs to get above this 385 level. If it does, uh, this is going to be finally the channel that's going to start the next leg up. I don't know if it's going to it's going to have an effect before AMD's numbers, after AMD's numbers. But again, it's always important to be prepared. And again, guys, keep this in mind. Just because the stock doesn't confirm doesn't mean you should just kind of uh, shrug it to the side. I'm always constantly setting alerts, right? On eSignal, whatever platform you have, just constantly set alerts. That's all I'm doing is you never know. A stock doesn't have to uh, confirm the next day. It could confirm a week from now, but always be prepared. And this is kind of why we're constantly setting uh, alerts for tomorrow. So tomorrow you got AMD and then with Thursday and fr uh, Thursday you have uh, Amazon and Apple uh, obviously going to uh, set the tone. So nice little bounce back session today. Uh, again, we talked about uh, Netflix uh, on the weekend update, uh, 427.50 rejected back to back days and including the pre-market needs to establish a new base above 428. Beautiful bounce. I mean, really, really good bounce. Uh, we were prepared for the bounce. We talked about it over the weekend. It finally reclaimed the five day moving average and had a really, really aggressive move. Uh, almost went up about uh, 11 points. If, if Netflix can just get above today's channel tomorrow, maybe this thing finally opens up, could be really, really good. And, and honestly, if you look at Netflix and you look at Tesla, you know, they might just bring one each other up because you know, those are the two stocks that uh, miss numbers, or at least the, the price, uh, price uh, uh, the, 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 the depreciated uh, after this earnings. So maybe, they, you know, maybe Netflix pulls up Tesla uh, for tomorrow. Uh, Roku was really, really good. Oh, excuse me, I forgot TTD. TTD, 91, 91, 66. 
Uh, it got above 91. It didn't quite get above the 66 level. Uh, but TTD, guys, keep an eye on this thing for the next couple of days. It got above the 91. It just needs to get above this channel here. If TTD can get above this channel, it's a beautiful, beautiful, uh, I guess what they call it, cup and handle, whatever the hell it's called, right? If it gets above this channel here, uh, this thing looks pretty good as well. Uh, night, you know, Roku, this is my first trade of the day, 91.89, uh, needs to confirm pre-market highs. Roku exploded. I mean, really, really exploded. Uh, you can see here, you know, here it was just hanging out, pre-market highs. And once it took out that 92 level, just an absolute moonshot. Uh, Roku looks like uh, it's a, it has a date uh, with triple figures. Uh, Meta didn't come close to 26.20. Siri didn't do anything, went up by three, four cents. Kava, right? Kava, nice move today. Uh, thinner name, recent IPO, but 54.86 needs to build. Here was Kava, right? You can see Kava took out this whole channel here, reclaimed the 55, put up a $2 candle. Nice move. Looks like it wants to get into the 58s. Uh, really good move there. Uh, Mara put up like a 40 cent candle really quick. Don't know even know what the news was. It was a really, if you see the intraday, it was a really big candle intraday. It was a 1740 level and just spiked all the way to the 1780 before reversing down. But I'm not sure what the news was. I know, I know it wasn't a Bitcoin rally, but uh, you know, nice little pop on Mara. Congrats to all you guys who caught that as well. Uh, and I believe that is it. So going into tomorrow again. I'm watching Tesla. Uh, I'm watching TTD. Uh, nice little form there. I'm definitely watching AFRM. All the all the option flow on AFRM uh, is starting to get very very aggressive. Uh, another name I'm definitely watching Lyft. Uh, didn't confirm today, but we're watching it for the next couple of days as well. Again, short term. Uh, we've been discussing it for the last week or so. Short term, fourteen and fifteen dollar calls. Uh, maybe this thing uh, wakes up as well. So that's it, guys. Hopefully everybody had a great weekend. Hopefully everybody had a great trading day. Uh, tomorrow is the new day. We'll see what AMD happens uh, after after hours on earnings. And when God's help, I will see you all there. Take care, guys. Have a great, great night.